Reconnecting. Yeah. Ooh. Reconnect. Ooh. My lovely client Lily in here. And she has the perfect hair to try it out on. And you guys are going to be doing a giveaway soon. And actually going to be doing a giveaway on this flat iron. So we're going to see live. Somebody says, hey, cousin. What's going on, cousin? We're going to see live what this flat iron do. It says H2 Pro Silk. I can see the diamond play. I'm letting it heat up, y'all. Somebody says, hey, Chris. What's been going waiting on? for you to go live since the last one. I know it's been a minute. I've been waiting for the perfect time to go live. Y'all don't look at my station and look a fool. Me and mine trying to get up out of here. Got a four day weekend and I'm so happy about it. So you guys, I've been using um, Design Essentials Platinum Line. Um, I still use my influence, I told y'all that before. But I actually like their um, this is their Platinum Finishing Weightless Thermal Protected Serum. So I actually like it a lot. So I got about that much in my hand. I'm gonna put it in Lillian's hair. Lillian is all natural. We're doing curls, we're going straight. Um, you can throw some curls in there. She said we can throw some curls in there. I was glad she said that. Let's see how this flat iron really curves. So y'all know when I put product in, I like to rub it in on the back of my hand. I'm gonna spray some light spray. Official Lori says, "Come to Houston." Hashtag pop up salon. Come through. I'm trying. Y'all go ahead. Y'all get me those views and those likes so this you YouTube check can pay for us to travel. I need y'all to share these videos. If you guys look out, we're gonna do a giveaway for this flat iron that I'm about to use. I think it's gonna be a good flat iron. I heard some good things about it. It is still H2 Pro. What you trying to say, money? Somebody said, "Did your client from the last live get a relaxer? The one who took the braids out." Who was that? In the last live. In the last live, took the braids out. Was that Lillian? Yeah, Lillian. Yeah, Lillian. Yeah, Lillian. Yeah, Lillian. Yeah, Lillian. Money. Uh, Antoinette, Antoinette, Antoinette. Hey, Antoinette. Oh, that's my girl. She went on there. She was like, don't be on here bullying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you guys, I am using the H2 Pro Silk. Let's see what we're working with. Come through. I'm loving the glide. I'm loving the glide. <laughs> oh, oh, got it. Ooh. Ooh. I'm about glide it out this chair, honey. <laughs> These materials money don't almost, match. Honey. Money almost <laughs> cut that pool, honey, and fail. Okay. Uh-uh. Y'all, we got a whole lot going on. I'm recording. We live. Live from San Francisco. He's just gonna put me in the live, recording the live. <laughs> oh, yeah, that you should have did one Instagram live. They don't follow me on Instagram like they do YouTube. Instagram be really, yeah, Facebook either. My, my YouTube people is on it. Okay, so I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So you guys, this iron that I'm using, I'm actually, we're, me and Money, we're actually gonna be doing a giveaway along with professionalflatirons.com. You can find this iron on professionalflatirons.com and you can use my discount code, SoStylisticCLT and get 15% off of your purchase. So, so far, I'm liking the iron a lot. And this is one of their more um, inexpensive irons. If you can't afford the expensive ones, like, I'm liking it. Now, don't get me wrong, because I don't want to lie to y'all. 
Lillian does have very silky hair. She has silky hair. But Lillian also has a lot of damn hair. <laughs> so. I like to see, when I'm looking for an iron, I like to see if it glides for me. I'm loving the way that it glides. That means it's gonna give me a good curl. I don't like to see this. It's one hairstylist. I love to see her work, but her irons don't be clean. And she always doing it. They, they, these are not Marcel's, but she do it because the irons don't be clean. I don't like clean your irons, people. And they got flat iron cleaner. It's giving me a good pass. I'm loving it. It's giving me my curls. Y'all know I love my curls. And y'all gonna see, it's gonna take me about 30 minutes to curl um, Lillian's hair. She got it. Y'all see all this hair on her head? She is the perfect model. Perfect. Y'all heard me perfect. Anybody saying anything? Yes, I was going to ask you when you want me to. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt you while you was, you know. Someone said, okay. I'm, um. Someone says, hey, from Los Angeles. What's up, Kelly? Um, Antoinette says, hey, Chris, have you been? What's up, baby girl? Um. Official Lori says, oh, yeah, that's right. She took her braids down a week before her appointment. He didn't want to do the relaxer. Miss Demeter. That's who it was. She was on live? Yeah, it was Miss Demeter. Uh-huh. So, we know we actually didn't do, do the relaxer. And I'm glad I didn't do the relaxer because she right back in braids. Because she is now in... Where did she go to? Punta It wasn't Punta Cana. No, it wasn't Puma Cana. It was somewhere else. She, she's back at another... She's in another island. And so she's back in braids. She's actually in crochets. So I'm glad I didn't do. So you have to listen to your... All that down there. Yeah, it was Mr. Mita. Naya... Oh. Oh, no, go ahead. Naya says, hey, Chris, even though I'm in pain and swollen from surgery, I love your spirit and genuineness and how you keep the hair healthy. Naya, I was thinking about you. I'm glad your surgery went well. Take it easy. Take it easy and let me know how you feeling. Deshonda says, hey, boo, curl, boo, curl. Hey, <laughs> get it. Yeah, I'm really liking this flat iron, for real, for real, for real. Somebody said, that's what I'm talking about, a discount. Come through. That's what I do for y'all, a discount. <laughs> and when we have this giveaway, we're going to give away two shirts, two so stylistic shirts, and a flat iron. How about that? But I'm working on the giveaway um, details because I'm working with, the, with um, professional flat irons. Me and Money working with them. So, yeah, I got this iron and i'm loving it so if you don't want to spend a lot on your irons right now mm -hmm. you can go and purchase this one i'm not sure exactly the um the price of it i should i guess i should have found it out before i came on here but um go to professionalflatirons.com um when you find the iron make sure when you go to check out you do the promo code so stylistic clt and receive your 15% off of, even if you buy more than one iron, you receive 15% off of it. But I'm liking it. So, I mean, for me, um, I think this is more so than the one that they like for you to try to sell to the general public. Um, for me, it still goes, this iron goes up to 450 degrees, so it does get hot. I am flat ironing Lillian on 450 degrees, but again, like I told you, if you're fast with flat iron, you can do that, but now if you flat iron your own hair at home, please don't put it on 450 degrees and go through with slow passes. <coughs> You're gonna burn your hair out. And Lillian's hair is, it's not really coarse coarse, but she does have um, coarse hair. It can take heat. But it's giving me what I want. Like, I really like this iron so far. It's a lot lighter than my other flat irons which I also like because that's good on my arm. But 
but I'm loving the curl that it's giving me. And I always look for that, y'all. Whenever you're curling the way that we curl, I always look for it to glide. If it's one of those irons that's pulling and tugging the hair, you don't want to use that iron. And if your iron is pulling and tugging the hair, you need to get a new iron. I stay stacked on, on irons because I do a lot of curling with them. And I can say the um, paint is coming off of it, so it's not going to be saying H2 Pro Silk for long. But that's fine. <laughs> Are you feeling the heat from it, Lily? And she would tell me if she was. <laughs> or she'd jump. Yeah, I'd probably jump. And another thing I look at too, some people's hair hold heat. I'm feeling it after I get done. It's not like really hot, which is a good thing. And Lillian's hair usually hold heat. Normally when I do that right there, it's like hot. So that lets me know that it's not temperature is regulated pretty well. So yeah, shout out to Professional Flat Irons for sending this flat iron through because I'm liking it and it is still in my line. I use H2 Pro Iron. Let's turn it this way. That's the curlest I created. I think someone missed the, um, the name of the flat iron. So this flat iron is the H2 Pro Silk <coughs> Yeah, H2 Pro Silk, see it's already coming off. But it is the professional ceramic tourmaline styling iron. So when you get it, you're gonna see the diamond plates in it. I mean, the diamond sparkles in it, which is what I love about H2 Pro because it gives the moisture to the hair that it needs. It seals down that cuticle. Now she does have a heat protector on her hair. I did put a heat protector on it. Um, I don't use a lot of products before flat ironing. That's just me. Um, I think everything that you do should start at the bowl. So whenever Imani shampoos, she shampoos in good shampoo with conditioning, good conditioner, which is influence. Um, and then we always do a leave-in. I always get her to do a leave-in before she blow dries. And then I use a leave-in, but I'm light on the leave-in. I mean, not the leave-in, the, um, thermal protecting, but I've been using Design Essentials new platinum line. And I have to say, I like it thus far, as long as they can keep it out the store. I don't like for my clients to be able to get to products. If they can get to it, then they're gonna sit here and look at me and see how I do it, and then they're gonna go home and be doing their own. Mm. I just need you to maintain it until you come back. So I am liking this. So next, the next one we have to do, we have to do, um, do it straight. I need to give it the money, let her take it home and flat out her hair. Mm -hmm. And she record it. Cause she don't need no more heat on her hair. Y'all, I was gonna fuss at money, Sarah, cause she did. The one thing that I tell my clients not to do, she flat iron dirty hair. Oh, yeah. Sad. Oh. That was just my bang, and that's because it was No, ma'am, no. Yes, it was. No, ma'am. It had that flat iron on hell. <laughs> Sad. Why did you flat iron my whole hair? Yes, you went through your whole head. Chris, I went through my whole, head. Through whole head. I didn't even have enough time it to go through, <laughs> like, go through my oh, whole oh, head. What you say? Oh. I had just did it the night before, early what? that morning. How was it dirty? It was a whole flat iron. How was it dirty? It was a whole flat iron. How was it dirty? I had just shampooed my hair 3 a.m. that morning. You did it that night. I flat ironed it 3 a.m. that morning. We left at 5. How was it dirty? So you fl you flat ironed at 3 and then you flat ironed again at what? 5.30 that evening? Yeah, because we had to go to the wedding. That was two times. We that done sweated out, puffy, and everything. Y'all hear that, y'all? So sweat it. I mean, sweat done set in. What was I supposed to do? Get a blow hotels don't got blow dryers. Yes, they do. <laughs> they only come but so far off the wall. <laughs> it was in a bag up under the thing. You Shaking my thing. head. My hair was only, if anything, done for eight hours. That's true. It still ended up being pretty though. 
I'm weak. I was just using you as an example. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't seen me I'm looking weak. at you over there though when you were flat out and I was like <laughs> Yeah, cause it ain't got humidified from the shower, everything. I would have looked like a poodle at the wedding. You really would. Y'all the wedding was nice. We had fun. Me and Money got towed up. We turn up. So if y'all get us out there, y'all gotta have us ready. Somebody say y'all are hilarious. <laughs> Yes, Jeffrey says, anybody new to the room, please smash that like button. That's it. Hit that like button. Y'all, I need y'all to help me. My, the channel is really growing. Like, we got the 10, I think we're at um, 10,600 now. Like, it's really growing. So, I thank y'all. Make sure y'all share the videos. Um, like I said, we're going to do this giveaway. We're going to give away two So Stylistic t-shirts. And we're going to be giving away a flat iron with... Um, Partnering with professionalflatirons.com, where I got this flat iron from, and I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. like, I think we're gonna flat iron money's hair straight so y'all can see it. What it do straight. But if I can find a flat iron that can curl, nine times out of ten, it's gonna do me right when I get ready to go straight. And y'all know I'm big, so the last couple of, um, videos i've been putting up have been of me curling with my flat iron because i'm so tired and again i said to each his own because i don't like knocking stylists because there's some stylists that i watch they do some bomb work um but it just it's a pet peeve of mine to see a, st a stylist go through the hair flat iron the hair bone straight and then go back and put curls in it like that just tears my nerves up that's just a pet peeve, y'all. That's, that's, that's just how I feel, but to each his own. And again, like I said, I follow some great stylists that I really do like that do that. I cringe when I watch the video, but I like the outcome, but still, you could have got that another way. So shout out to my beautiful client, Miss Lillian, for letting me record her. You are letting me record you, right? I gotta ask you like 10 minutes into <laughs> Don't sue me. <laughs> Y'all know I'm short. So, on average, those of you that are in the room that are hairstylists, how long does it take you to flat iron a full head? Somebody tell me. On average, how long does it take for you to flat iron a full head? Sharonda says, hello, Chris. What's up, Sharonda? Patricia says, um, hey, Chris, love you, sweetie. Kissy face. Hey, um, love you, too. Oh, I don't want to mispronounce her name. Az Azisha? Azisha says 30 minutes. 30 minutes. That's good. So a full head of hair like this. With all this hair, because Lily ain't got some hair for you, baby. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> when she gonna get her hair braided, honey, they, they be happy. <laughs> we gonna charge her all the money. <laughs> <laughs> but if you do that in 30 minutes, that's really good. And then the, uh, and when I say when I say flat iron, it needs to be flat iron. But that's good in 30 minutes. I give myself about 45 minutes. I think my quickest has been around, around 25 or 30 minutes, depending on, actually, you know, I, yeah. Because I can get Miss Trisha done in about, about 20 minutes, 15 at the least. Mm -hmm. I'm really rushing. But somebody for like Lillian, I give myself about 45 minutes. And if you can do that, you think about the money that you can make. Y'all look at them curls. Look at them curls. Shake Lily. She gave you a white. Uh, uh, <laughs> that was a black girl shake. <laughs> I went to a prep school. I want to get my hair messed up. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my mini H2 Pro. I love this one too, but I'm just um, going in around her edges. 
a Lillian had some postpartum alopecia around her edges. She had a beautiful baby girl. And I told her, and if I didn't tell you, say, Chris, you lying, you didn't tell me that. But, um, <laughs> cause I want, I want them to know I tell her. But when she got pregnant, when we found out she was pregnant, I told her, I said, Lillian, please make sure that you stay on your prenatal vitamins and you, and you start them and you stay on them after you have your baby because you could experience postpartum alopecia. Did I tell you that? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm just making sure. <laughs> now, I did not force her to say that. And she was one of my clients that experienced postpartum alopecia, especially around her edges. But they are growing back. She's actually my second client. I actually, no, she's not my second client, but she is my second client that comes on a regular dead experience. My other client, she had twins and she experienced it. And her edges are growing back. And I think we talked about that in our last live. So please make sure that you advise your clients on that. And if you don't know what to say to them, find out what to say. Sometimes the doctor won't tell them. Sometimes the doctor will let them know. But Lillian was coming. Her edges came out. The baby, the baby took, took the edges. But they're coming back. I'm really Let's say this. loving the bounce game. Yeah, and I'm loving the flat iron. Y'all, y'all need to go purchase this flat iron now. Pick this flat iron up. And I'm not just telling y'all that. And if you need me to come and teach you a flat iron class, I will come. I gotta go home and pack. I'm gonna be just like I was when we went to Raleigh. I ain't gonna go to sleep tonight. Actually, my bag still packed from Raleigh and from the last time I went to Atlanta. <laughs> Another thing too, y'all, I said this with my last client. I think my last client was in here, the one that had the postpartum alopecia. Now, if y'all see Lillian's um, hair, it's growing back. What I don't do, and this is just me personally, people have gotten so used to slicking the baby hairs back. My clients don't really care about that. I show them the way to hide it. Um, I don't like to put too much gel or styling aids on it. I like for it to breathe on its own. And when I go in, I just hit it lightly. Like I don't be, I don't use no press and comb and all that adding extra heat. That's new hair. That's actually kind of like, that's baby hair to us because it's coming in, it's fresh. So I kind of let it do what it do and let it grow out. When it get long enough, probably about an inch and a half long, then I'll go in with my flat iron and I'll really focus on getting it um, just so it can lay down good when they wrap it at night. But I don't bother it too much. Like, I think when we start seeing hair grow, we just want, ooh, let's touch it. Let's put this on it. No, you ain't got to do all that. And slicking all that, buying all that edge control and slicking it down. You know, I give my clients some stuff to take home. They do um, the Influence Growth Cream is what I recommend to them. And I also do the Design Essentials. Um, vitamin E drops or you can go to a health food store or just a health store in general and do vitamin E drops or the vitamin E pill and pop it and put it on your edges but yeah she's not having any problem I'm really loving this flat iron I have to say, I've used all of H2 Pro's flat irons from the smallest to the biggest. And I have to say, um, when I first started doing, I think it's stuck up under your foot, the cord. Oh, I'm sorry. When I first started doing hair, FHI was my favorite. Like, they were my favorite flat iron to use. And I noticed that over the years, they started using losing quality. I, I I wasn't getting the same um, durability out of it. I wasn't getting the same heat. Um, I think they re, they're they revamping it now, but I had to find something and I found H2 Pro. I used to see it at the show when I go all the time, but I never used it. And I finally got into using it and I was like, okay, I like this. So between H2 Pro and EAP, those are my two flat irons that I use. 
So if you see it, that's my EAP arm, my EAP arm right there, and everything else is H2 Pro. Anybody say anything? <coughs> Um, yes, the internet says hopefully God will work it out where y'all have a shop in Atlanta because you are truly blessed and talented. Come through, Antoinette. Keep that prayer. My client came in today and said she was on her way here and she vision had a vision of me having two salons and she said I was working four days out of the week, two at one and two at the other. Now, where that, salon, that second salon at, I don't know. Only God knows. And he only knows where the money going to come from. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm believing him for it because, I mean, hey, I know he can do the impossible because it's only because of him I'm in here. Me and the money are right here in our own little spot. So thank you, Antoinette. I'm, I'm believing, believing you. Believing in God for that. Yeah, my client said that today. But y'all need to get it. Y'all got to help me get this YouTube popping. So this, this good old check can get me to travel. And y'all want me to come out. I want to get me a money to travel. I got to buy plane tickets and stuff. Official, <clears throat> Officially, Lori said the second salon in Houston. In Houston, good lord. <laughs> y'all done put me out in, in Atlanta, in Houston. I'm down for it. Let's get it. And can I come visit though? I've been in Atlanta this weekend. Somebody said Nash Nashville come through. Nashville, come on. I'll be in Atlanta this weekend, but I won't be down there doing any hair. I actually am traveling to Atlanta a lot. That's kind of scary. This is like the second. What's this? The second trip in the past two months. I think third. <laughs> yes, it well, is. No, we it is the third. It is about the, it it like, is the third. Not in the last two months. Yes, huh? What well, was two months ago? No. Okay, so we went. We went for Cat's birthday. Yeah. Then we went. Me, Jabaro, Liko. Yeah. And Brian. Yeah. And me, and me Cody. It's and the Lico. fourth. Yeah, it's like, okay. Yeah. Maybe God trying to tell me something. <laughs> I don't know. I know one thing. I'm not going <clears> to Atlanta. That's what I'm not doing. I don't want to live in Atlanta. Now, traveling back forth, I don't mind, but I can't live in Atlanta. It's some things you just know. You have a conversation with you and God, and everybody be like, God, you know, I'll be, I won't be down there doing no hell. You doing <laughs> everything but hell. <laughs> but I love Atlanta, though. I really do. I love Atlanta. So, I'm actually, I think I said, um, I don't know. I said to somebody, Somebody to find me a salon to work in because I'm coming down there so much. I might reach out to um, T. Teddy Meeks and ask because I'm going to be going down there. I need to work while I'm down there. Audrey says, come to New York. Yes. And Jeffrey says, my cousin watches your videos um, <clears throat> as well and loves your work. She wishes you can come to Vegas, LOL. What? I'm through Vegas. Uh, Megan says I'm gl I'm going to have to check I'm going to have to check my notifications. I'm glad I caught this live. I love your work. Yes, Megan. So what you do hit that ring of notification so you'll know every time we go live or we upload a video. And lately I've been trying to upload a video, one video at least once a week. I don't say what day cuz I don't ever know when, but I'm trying to do at least once a week. So yeah, hit that ring of notification. Or follow me on Instagram too, because I also Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Look, I, I was trying not to get you. <laughs> like hell. <laughs> I was like in mid curl. <laughs> T Michael says, um, he says, hot hot damn, I didn't miss the live. <laughs> Hi Chris, looking good. Hey, what's going on? Nope, you didn't miss the live. I'm reviewing my new H2 Pro iron, the silk iron that I got from professionalflatirons.com. Y'all make sure y'all go check the website out. 
All my irons that I have other than my EAP irons can be purchased there. And you can use the discount code so stylistic CLT and receive 15% off. So make sure y'all go check them out. And we will be partnering up with them to do another. I did one giveaway with them, which I actually love. Um, the lady that owns professionalflatirons.com, she's the bomb. Um, but we did one um, one giveaway with them, and that was very successful. But that was on Instagram. But the next one is going to be on YouTube. Because I want to be able to bless you guys with something, too. So we're going to do flat iron. And we're gonna do two so stylistic t-shirts. I'm gonna do a black one and a white one. And if you wanna purchase a so stylistic t-shirt, DM me. We have some that says so stylistic hashtag on the back. Wait. Oh yeah, it says hashtag so stylistic. And then money shirt says hashtag hair her way. We the bomb right here. What y'all thinking? Y'all thought this was a game? This ain't no game. Y'all look at this. Look at them curls. We wrapping it? Yeah. So we gonna wrap it. All right, so I like to take a little bit. I'm trying to take about that much. You see that? Now you can't do this much for everybody here because everybody here is the same. And I like to go through my hand. I go in the front and the back. And the like middle. putting on lotion. Yep, like putting on lotion. There you go, that's right, man. And go through it. Some people are just putting it in the in the forearm, but your hair, hands are going through the hair. Y'all see them curls? And I just don't understand why people just won't learn how to curl with a flat iron. Curls ain't going nowhere. Where they going? Nowhere. Where they going? Nowhere. But you also gotta let the curl sit too. So we're gonna take our powder brush. I use Olivia garden brushes. I think somebody asked me that. What kind of brushes do I use? I use Olivia garden. I pay, I think this powder brush was probably about 14. Well, I pay for my brushes. I invest in my tools. Um, one of my clients is in here today and my Shear man came. I used Hanzo shears, and she was like, "So how much he said that flat iron was? I mean, not flat iron. The um, shear was. I was like, he said that one was eighteen hundred, and then the one that I want is like eight hundred. Invest in your tools. Like, don't be using these cheap Sally shears on people's heads. It's okay to use that crap on on extension and stuff. And not every extension you can use that on because if they're going out." getting good bundles and buying, getting this good hair, you don't want to use cheap shears on that stuff because that, that stuff is going to split. But my clients get the best. Like, I invest in my tools. I want the hair to be healthy. I want to use the best. My grandma always said, you get what you pay for. You buy cheap, you're going to get cheap. Clients, I, I like when people come in here, the distributors come in here and they see the bill. <laughs> they won't be thinking we be like getting over. But I don't go and buy nothing out of the store. I got one client was like, why do you want to go in Walmart for me to get quick to do my hair? Because I can provide you with the stuff that you need. But I can't tell you what's in Walmart. I can give you an idea. I understand everybody can't afford it, but I work with mm. you. I do payment plans. <laughs> All right. We're going to take the saran wrap. I don't know who bought me this saran wrap. Who went and got this saran wrap? Brian went and got this thing. I can't remember. It had to be. I normally only buy glitter. Now y'all say he too bougie now, but no, y'all see the way this went on her head? <laughs> it's so hard. It's thick. It's thick. Oh, it's thick. Alright, we're gonna sit Lillian up under the dryer for about eight. About eight minutes. 
Okay. We got a mess in here. Okay. We got a mess in here. Y'all, but this is the flat iron here. Let's see. You can come back. Right there. Come on, son. There you go. And we're going to put this one on about medium. <laughs> I learned that from money. I do hot sometimes, but when I do hot, I did learn... And if you do it on the highest temperature, it loosens up the curl a little bit more. But if they want a little bit of curl left, you want to do it like on a cooler setting. Um, but this flat iron that we used. Yeah, um, that chair just ain't right tonight. Exactly. <laughs> oh, and she got on my horse. Now I'm going to turn this one off. Turn that one off. The flat iron that we use is this one. Oh, that's not good. It's the H2 Pro um, Professional Ceramic. Tourmaline silent iron. And so it did come in this, it came in this box. I had already, I, I'll do, well, you'll see the unboxing video when I unbox it. And she sends, I love the way she sends her stuff because it comes priority ship. Oh, and she sent it in this. Every flat iron I've got from her is coming priority ship and it has bubble wrap in it so it's secure. Um, or I should say them. I keep saying she. I don't know who sent them. I just know who I talk to. Um, <laughs> this flat iron is Neto high tech plate. So what you saw with the um, look, I call them diamonds. It look like little diamonds, little crystals in the inside. It's dual voltage. Um, it has a one hour shut off, shut off, which is good because sometimes I forget to shut my flat irons off, even if I'm just working and they need to be shut off because you don't want your flat irons to overheat. And you never, guys, sometimes we have those things in our salon. Oh, thank you. Oh, somebody gave you a compliment? Yeah, she said, um, she said, nice to see that the camera woman has natural nails, not so common anymore. Oh, now that ain't all the time. <laughs> She's talking about some all thank you. Yes, it is. So let me just tell I'm you about weak. Money, <laughs> Chris money is not letting me up. live tonight, not tonight for man. nothing. Not tonight. My baby gets done up, honey. These nails were done. What? That no. Went, that I, went down for the wedding. I have to braid. I can't get my nails done. That went down for the wedding? Mm-mm. That -mm. No, I had this little bit on still from this. <laughs> <laughs> this but little she bit. she gets her nails done, though. She does. But she's been keeping them short because she's been braiding a lot. But um yeah, so this is um it has a um infrared heat, um and it's a dynamic alignment system. So I'm reading out the box, y'all. I'm reading out the box. I ain't like I don't went home and studied nothing. I'm reading y'all what I see. Okay. So it says ceramic tourmaline styling iron. So this is what this is. Um, it says you can flip, twist, straighten, and curl. And we you, ju you just saw it. And they come in these colors right here. So they come in these colors. Give them white, pink. Now, I don't know what they have on the website, but I do know they come in these colors. And this um, in is the, the small black ones. one, of course. Yeah, but I like the black. Yes, he loves messing with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my baby. Wouldn't be right if I didn't. Can't nobody else mess with it. Let, 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 let somebody on YouTube come and say something. I'm going off. Y'all already know what I give. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, this is um, this is it. It does have where you can shut it on and shut it off. It has the um, timer on it. I mean, not the timer, the dial up for the heat adjustment, which I love. I like that for all of my irons. Now my EAP iron does not have that, but I do know that this iron only goes to 400 degrees and I absolutely love this iron. I do a lot of short hair with this iron. So again, like I said, H2 Pro and EAP are my go-to irons, what I use nowadays um this is my micro which i use for short hair as well you can also use it for edges it does have a dial up on it, it goes to 450. um this is my other h2 pro now this h2 pro these two are pretty much like because they come in these kind of cases in the plastic so these are the um ones that are more affordable if you can't spend like 150 175 dollars or 200 dollars for an iron these are more to go to but um, I actually like this iron, but this iron goes up to 450 degrees and it does not have a dial up on it. It's just on and off, um, but it is temperature regulated. 
but I have not burned anybody's hair out relaxed or not relaxed so again you have to know the product that you're using so make sure you read up on it and then this is my other EAP iron that I'm using right now now this happened by accident I went when I went to the show I they run a great special at the show and when I told the guy I said I wanted the one inch for some reason I just knew because I was flirting with him let's be honest <laughs> Um, and I think I was flirting a little bit too hard and I said I wanted a one inch and he ended up doing the one and a quarter which I I'm using it because I love it because I didn't have a one and a quarter so it is what it is and yes I did flirt with him I, I flirt with anybody you know, like this time <laughs> I flirt with your granddaddy and your grandma <laughs> and they have it still they don't give me a discount it's the after the flirt, and it's what you know. We, we, we don't get it. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the iron that I'm reviewing tonight, and I'm gonna put up a video. Um, but the last couple of videos I've been putting up, you've been seeing me curl with the flat iron again. Like I said, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna leave it alone for right now. But I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it again, cause it's my opinion, and opinions are like assholes. Some of them stink. Actually, all of them stink. Oh my but god. But some stink more than others. <laughs> <laughs> this depends on how you wash and how you wipe. Everybody don't wash and wipe the same way, you know? So, I absolutely have some great, great artists that I follow on a regular that I learn a lot from. But some of them, they don't, they don't curl with their flat iron. Or they flat iron the hair bone straight and then they go back and curl it. I don't do that. Just from my mentor, what I was taught, it's just too much heat passing through the hair, especially if you went through and you blow dried it. And that is the key to a great silk press. Blow dry, a good blow dry is the key to a great silk press. Somebody said, how can you achieve a great silk press? Or the little funny girl that came on here, I don't know if she ever came back on here. Let me read her real quick. The little funny girl that came on here and said, oh, you calling that a silk press? That's just a flat iron. That's just so, see, you know, us, we love to like, if we want to change something, let us change something. They can go out there and change highlights when you just thin them out to baby highlights. Why we can't change a flat iron to a silk press? Like, I don't understand. When we do something, that's a problem. So it's going to forever be a silk press, okay? If you ever watch this again, I do silk presses with a flat iron. Kiss my no. <laughs> <laughs> she made me mad. She's like, oh, so you call it you call that silk press. That's a regular flat iron. That's what one of the comments was up under my thing. Mm -hmm. I was like, girl, get somewhere. We can't never have nothing. But yes, I do silk presses with a flat iron. I don't see you doing no silk press with no curl. <laughs> Jeffrey said, don't be coming for my friend, Chris. <laughs> Who? Jeffrey. Oh, talking about you. Jeffrey. Okay, I'll leave money alone. No, I think he's talking about the, the girl you talking about. Mm -mm, he's talking about you, because Jeff don't about... know that girl. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff don't know that girl. I'm weak. I ain't going to come for money. Money my baby, y'all. That's my baby. Let me tell y'all something. Money be in here killing it. We about to get her now. If y'all are in the area and you want to book, you can book with me or E-Money. She will be on the Bugaro website. Come October 1, I will be adding her. She will have her own schedule. She will still be assisting me, but she's going to have her own schedule. We have already talked about a plan because a money has the same license that I have. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You see that net? Ooh. <laughs> I don't do bugs. But a money has the same license that I have. If you are assisting in a salon, and I told this to Imani when she first started assisting me and when she came back. If you're assisting, if you are now assisting in a salon, and the person that is in the salon is not pushing you, if they're not pushing you to do things outside of your comfort zone, you need to find somewhere else to go. A good mentor pushes you. They push and they will feed into you. And I have to say that, but I will forever. Tina was my mentor and she was a great mentor. She pushed me. I was afraid to cut hair. This lady came in and wanted a haircut one day. Tina came over and cut almost a gap in the lady's head and told me to fix it. And that made me grow as a stylist because I had to do it. She knew I had the confidence to do it. Now, I ain't did money like that, but I did put her on the head one day. I was like, come over here and cut this head. 
So I didn't, I ain't cut no gap in her head because it was my cousin. I want my cousin walk around with a gap in her head. But I did tell her, like, come over here and cut this hair. And she did a great job. She did an absolute great job. So you need people like that. So don't think that you have a good mentor. A mentor is not going to be nice to you all the time. You know, they're going to push you. A good mentor is going to push you. They're going to push you and put into you. You know what they've learned. So money is doing great work. She's an awesome stylist. Actually, she helped me because some stuff I forget. I ain't gonna lie. And why do you think it when I did? Who do I text you? Jeffrey, I'm messing with your girl again. No, see, he was talking about the uh, the girl that you was coming for. Oh, oh, Jeffrey, so you on her side now? <laughs> I put Antoinette on you, Jeffrey. That's how you gonna do me? Where Antoinette at? She's still in here. I'm putting Antoinette on you. And T. Michael. You gonna take up for her? Be taking off of her. Uh, T. Michael said, whether it's a flat iron or a pressing comb, technically you are pressing the hair with the back of the comb or between the plates. So that young lady is ignorant in her knowledge. I feel you, Chris. Antoinette says, yeah, don't play with Chris. Oh, Antoinette don't play, honey. I put up a video the other day. Antoinette, I got, I went, y'all know I read all my comments. Y'all know I do. Y'all know I try to read all my comments. And I try to comment, but Antoinette went on there and was like, don't come in here with me. <laughs> I was like, yes, honey, let me tell you, Antoinette moderates for me. So it went, wherever you are, Antoinette, I have to meet you because you are ride or die. Now, Jeffrey and T. Mark, they ride or die for me too. And I forgot, um, who we missing? Um, oh, I can't think of her name. I know it when it come up. I hadn't seen her in a while. I gotta figure out where she is because she used to be in here all the time. Mm -hmm. um, Jeffrey and T. Mark know what I'm talking about. Our other girl that used to come in all the time. And Naya, Naya. Y'all my ride or die. But yeah. Don't come in messing with me. I don't be doing that to nobody. I give out all this love. How many minutes is been? Oh, she said, how many minutes we at? Mm -hmm. 48. Uh, Jeffrey said no. Well, he was meaning I was saying that she was wrong for trying to come for you, Chris. She can't even. We ain't even got that time for her. <laughs> come through. We don't. We ain't got time for her. I was like, girl. I've been trying not to look at it because I I really get more positive feedback than I do the bad feedback. So I don't really get all of that. And when I do get it, I try to brush it off. One day it got to me though. Because it just be them little internet thugs that just think they can say what they want to say. But then you go on their page, they ain't got up a picture or a video. <laughs> the internet trolls. All right, let's comb her down. See what this comb down action look like. Y'all, I watch a lot of little food right now. Mm-hmm. You know you got to stay and help us clean up. <laughs> <laughs> She said she got to Did you see? Did you see that look on her face? Like, I'm down. You remember Candy Hunt when they was like, you're going to make pocket I'm down. She got to get home to her baby. Hey, she was like, I am. <laughs> that was all. Uh, uh. Make sure your clients don't sweat because if they do, your work will be in vain. And you got to learn them. Oh, I like that they press because he blessed. We need to put that on the shirt. Oh, they press. Are you pressed because I'm blessed? Hmm. You have to get which kind of man because some shirts like that. Mm-hmm. Y'all see them edges? Them edges going back, baby. That was ball, honey. Oh, my God. Don't do it like that. I ain't doing it like that. <laughs> this is a miracle. <laughs> he is a miracle worker. I show people miracles, honey. It can come back. All you gotta do is a little bit of prayer <laughs> and listen into your style. Y'all see all this hair? Look at this hair. Look at this hair. Y'all see how this hair? And she still got body. Shine. I don't add a lot of um, oil to Lillian's hair because Lillian's hair actually gets oily on its own. She wraps her hair so it produces oil pretty well on its own. 
so heavy oils we don't really use. So when I tell y'all we, we hide the edges, this is what we do when my clients learn. You just push them back out the way. You ain't gotta go in and put all that style and gel and gunk. That stuff, some of that stuff still has alcohol in it. Now, if you have a good, um, a good edge control that has vitamin E and biotin in it, then by all means do that. And um, Influence has good edge control. Um, Doricus that does Fantasia say I like his edge control. Um, the one from Design Essentials, I think, we said we liked that one, didn't we? A little bit? Mm hmm Yeah. It's been pretty good, too. But I just, I don't. Uh, a lot of my clients don't even like that. So I, I, I always ask before you go flicking that back. Because they also need to know how to work that. that Thank thing. you, Jeffrey. Jeffrey on your side. Mm hmm So I'm going to get... Get these just a little bit right up on there. Can y'all see the ops? I picked that up from Tina and I so <laughs> I used to pick on her about that because she'd be like, use your hands. Use your hands. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't want to use my hands. I don't like messy hair. I don't even got to be perfect. And so whenever you see Tina in the mirror, her head mm -hmm. always pops to the side, and she does this. And I find myself doing it, but I can't help it. Some things you just pick up. I'm going to tell her one day, thank you. <laughs> I had to get her a card. You know what? I'm gonna write her. I'm I'm in a write note mood. I'm gonna write a note. You think I should write a note? What? What you think? You think I should write a note? That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Appreciate it. I don't know. It it'd be nice on my part if she don't appreciate it. You know. But. <laughs> just stop. It's still on audio. <laughs> I'm thinking of a nice gesture to do. Yeah, that I would be her. nice. I really do. I miss her. I'm just, I'm just not in that place right now. You know, God got to work on me a little bit more. Y'all catch Lillian. Mm -hmm. Oh, I ain't get that. Oh. Some uh, Jeffrey said, "I see Miss Lillian with that bouncing and behaving here." <laughs> And y'all, I give her this bang. Now, I know she pushes it out of her because I know she look conservative. But I give her this bang so she can go home and be sexy out of her husband. So that way she can come back. And yes, like, internet. Make us some shirts. Yes. Look, and I, you know, I'm talking about yes, and it wouldn't even record. Wrong for that. <laughs> y'all let me do that. Shake for her one time. Give him a black girl shake. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and it go right back in place. Mm -hmm. Right back in place. Y'all look at them curls. And Lily ain't got the hair for it. I'm going to turn that one off. And y'all, I'm going to spray light. I like the shape and hold by Nairobi. And I also use the Influence Firm Holding Spray. Although it says it's firm, um, it's how you use it. Um, I always spray away from the hair. We still have some slight humidity here in Charlotte, although it's fall, it's still slight out there. But um, Lillian's hair is kind of, it's already trained to the heat, so we're not going to say heat damage. She, she, her hair is trained to the heat. Because uh -huh. trust me, when that water hit it, it go back into <laughs> its <mouth. laughs> Quick, fast, and in a hurry. And she's ready to go, y'all. And that is what that H2 Pro did. Yes, so pretty. Someone says, are you going to um, link the f flat irons in the description? Yes, I will link a flat iron in the description. And if you go and look at, um, I don't think my last two videos, but some of my videos that are up, I have it linked as well. Um, but again, it's www.professionalflatirons.com. Just the way that it sounds. All that together. Um, 
professionalflatirons.com and you go in there and you find the flat iron or flat irons that you like, just make sure you do the, oh my God, me and money ate some Chinese food and it's trying to get me. Um, discount code, so stylistic Charlotte. So it's one word, so I'm not, excuse me, so stylistic CLT. One word, so stylistic CLT. Same way it's spelled on here. Just put the CLT on there and you'll get your 15% discount off on it. And just look out too, because we're going to do a giveaway within the next week or so. Um, it's going to be a holiday giveaway because you know the holidays are coming up. So we're going to do a giveaway. Um, just trying to figure out the best way that I want to go about doing this giveaway. Um, but yeah, we will be giving away some so stylistic um, paraphernalia. Yeah, paraphernalia. And um, a flat iron. Yeah, so I might even go in and buy an extra one so we can do two giveaways. You know, because I'm, I'm feeling giddy right right about now. What you feel? You feel giddy? You giddy. <laughs> but y'all, I love y'all. I'm going to check my client out. Me and Money going to get this shop cleaned up. We got a four-day weekend and we going to enjoy it. So we'll holler back at y'all. I love y'all so much. We love y'all. Have a good night. Peace. If money know how to cut it off. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know how to end it. You don't. Mm -mm. You find the oh, she would. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Say bye again. Lillian, when are you coming back? Because you know you be waiting and sometimes you be on the wait list. I, I, I try not to do the wait list.